Uh, this is just a quick video on how to take out the pump and get it working again when your toilet won't flush on the cassette Thetford blue button flushing toilet um, first off the symptoms were you're pressing the flush on the blue button and nothing's happening basically all I did is take the handle off it just pops off like that and then what we can do is very carefully this cover not the blow fingers from a previous attempt it will just prise off underneath your circuit board you can see there is uh, it's underneath for the flush itself you don't need to bother with that just very carefully lift the second bit so just a cover that's inside there lift that off gently inside you've got a white wire and that leads down to the pump I've already removed mine but I'm going to show you because I had a real nightmare trying to get the pump out uh, I suggested on another video which is a really good video was uh, just removing the pump by pulling on the white cable that's got the basically two power cables going down to it um, I tried that and I wasn't getting anywhere um, and the actual water feed that comes off the pump that flushes to the toilet itself uh, was um, was really it's a really quite a strong pipe and it wasn't having any flex in it so I found it easier to actually grab hold of the hose itself this bit here and um, and actually try and pull the pump out by that itself I got my hand in as best I could grab that pump uh, that the, sorry the hose itself and then lifted it out um, this is the actual pump unit basically over time and also because I made a mistake of putting blue rinse when I was desperate in the year um, when we were running out of solution um, I put blue instead of pink in the water flush that helps to clog up the impeller unfortunately all you need to do is this is your end of your pump here and this is the suction part of your pump inside it is a little impeller which you probably can't see off there unfortunately you can just to say see the little blades of the impeller or the arms of it and all you need to do is very carefully just put something in there like a really small screwdriver and just very carefully try and turn the pump round the impeller blade round if you keep doing that turn it backwards and forwards you'll feel it start to free off um, that's basically all you need to do you just need to clean it out it's just debris that's built up in there um, from when the water's been stood for a while especially like say if you make a mistake of putting blue instead of pink in the water um, also on top of that you will probably find that the fuse is blown on the outside of the um, in where the cassette toilet is itself where the water waste goes you'll need to replace that fuse it's a 3 amp fuse but you can replace it with another 3 amp fuse blade it's easy I'll show you that straight away um, and I've replaced it with a 5 amp fuse other people have done it and I think it works better to be honest with you it's less chance of it tripping out um, now once you've freed off the impeller you can either pump turn it nicely just refit it, push your pump back down in there, make sure everything's working okay, test it, put it back together, flush it, and I'll quickly show you where the fuel is located. Shows a mess. Right, cassette I've taken out inside here, you'll see is your main wires etc but you don't need to do any of that basically here all is little fuse there i think it was pink for a three amp you just need to pop that fuse up with your finger just lift it out you'll see a blade fuse inside it chances are that's blown already because the pump was jammed so all i need to do is just pop a new fuse in there it is a three amp on this one i put a five in i don't know i'll probably change it back to a three but i the only could find a five anyway but people are recommending a five um pop that back in there and that's it you should be sorted but you will find that once you feed the pump off the fuse will have blown because the pump jammed so job done thank you